DJ Deadly. What to do? Selma, Alabama. Oh yeah. What it do, my nigga? What it do? We here, baby. We here. Hey, you been in this? You been doing this for a minute. You feel me? Years, man. Yeah. I've been hearing about you for years. I know yeah. you for years. Oh yeah. E. Years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna jump straight into it. How you feel like your credit is out here in Alabama, bro? Um, just being real, my name popping around here. From Montgomery to Birmingham, Huntsville, Mobile. See, but the only thing here about that is, niggas act like they don't know you. Okay. They, they know you, they hear you now. But these niggas, they, they, they see you, they'll be like, they'll whisper to somebody that go deadly. But when they walk past, you be like, what a witch, dick? You don't know nobody now. Yeah. But when we see them today and sell them or whatever, we holler on them, what up with you, bro? You know what I'm saying? But to me, I feel like they feel like we're from a country town and, and the respect really is, it ain't there. Even though we popping, it ain't there. You know what I'm saying? But they already know we got, look, we got we got bread like you got it. Yeah. We got the whoops like you got it. Yeah. Got the chains. What, what is yeah, it? The studio. Y'all got to go to other niggas' studio. We got this shit here. Ben had this shit. Ben had this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I don't feel like it. The res they know her, but the respect we're going to have to just make these niggas give. Hey, you're going to have to give her respect. Yeah, them Ben earned it. Shit. You been doing this for a minute. How long you been in the game? About 15. Longer than that. Probably about 17, 18 years. Shit. 18 years. Started off, uh, me and my partner, E. Heard, Hell Real. Um, met my uh, homie Nietzsche, chaotic at uh, at alternative school for the bad kids. Yeah. Um, Nietzsche was the first person that gave me some software called Fruity Loop. Any nigga named Deadly gotta be bad as hell. In FL Studio. <laughs> so he gave me FL Studio with Magic. Yeah. He got it from chaotic. You know what I'm saying? But he gave it to me, and from now we just. We took it over, you know what I'm saying? We started recording our own music, but we basically started from being a young group up on the Church Street Mafia. We were a little mafia boy. I heard about Church Street. Oh, yeah. We did that, you know what I'm saying? We were recording with Murder. Then we used to mess with my homeboy. Murder um, Mill. Oh, yeah, Murder Mill, Church Street Mafia. Shout out to them, D-Tech. Hey, I can't the wait The whole to Church murder, Street Bond family. Yeah, Bond. Okay, then we, we, we went from there. We hollered at my homeboy, Boo Rod. And shout out to Boo Rod. Shout out to Pope Dog. Them right there with the OGs. And see, the big difference is we we had OGs back then. Now the young niggas ain't got no OG, but we'll get on that later on. I see how you got your, your setup set up. You you on another level with it. You feel what I'm saying? It's not the normal going in the kitchen, in the bathroom, closing the bathroom door, and press and play. You got your professionalism going on in here. What got you to this level? Tell them how you was, how your come up. Yo started from the bottom, now you here. Give them that story. And I started from a computer and a computer mic with a fucking sock on that bitch. And we switched out from a sock to a motherfucking uh, uh, stocking. You know what I'm saying? And I came from there. Just started upgrading. People started spending their money with me. I kept upgrading and upgrading and upgrading. What kind and of computer you had? A deal. My grandma Ooh. got me that motherfucker. <laughs> when I tell you, man, we see, we used to, first we started off recording with, with Church Creek. With Murder Me, we were recording with him. You know what I'm saying? It got to the point where he really can record off for real like we wanted to. I told my grandma about it. She, she went to run or something. She rent that bit for $19.99 a week. <laughs> she, from, so from now, I got the song well from, uh, from Chaotic and Michi. You know what I'm saying? They blessed me with that. Them the first guy that gave, made it where I can be able to get my own recording studio. Once I did that, man, it, just, it, was, it was on since then. I just yeah. started, every time I made extra money, I kept investing, investing, investing. The, you, other, the other guy, that be their problem, don't know how to invest back in their crowd. Yeah, they saying? got the, yeah, I, I, talk about that too. What made you fall in love with music? Shit, music just in my genes, man. I get it from my grandma, her, my other auntie, they was in a band, slag choir, you know what I'm saying? They used to go from church to church. I'm doing their thing and it just it just it's in the jeans. Like my cousin, he got a studio on in the next goddamn on the next couple blocks, you know what I'm saying? 
So it just, it basically a family thing. It's just watching and learning. It just, it ain't watching and learning. It just, it's in us. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that it in there. And, and, and I heard that you, <laughs> don't tell, no, I don't know how I found this out now. I ain't gonna tell you who told me, but I heard you used to rap, you feel me? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do, I do the route with my brother. He heard hell real. Started off too with Michi, you know what I'm saying? And then we just, from LMB, I just said, man, it's too many guys. All right, I got to give a shout out to Church Creek Mafia, the whole Church Creek Bond family. We started with them, and then it got to the point where I was like, man, everybody rapping, the whole clique route. I'm talking about even the goddamn babies rapping around them motherfuckers. Yeah. So I just got to the point where I was like, man, I need to find something different, man. I need to find something that I can get paid from. And I still can be doing this music shit, cause I love it. Yeah. So what made you go, what made you get into DJing? What made me get into DJing? Cause she, for real, I was just being funny with my local DJ. Them bitches was getting booked, they, they, they getting booked for shows and shit and talking shit, don't wanna play nobody shit. So I said, bitch, I know how to do it too. So I just used to start, see, they used to be charging $150, me and my homeboy ride them over. We'll go through the whole city charging everybody fit it all. We fucking everybody up. Talking about making my all the DJ mad. Yeah, though. hustling. Man, we got everybody mad. But we having fun. Correct. That what they like. They were that what we're paying their bill, but we having we kids having fun doing it. So we like, man, fuck them. Give them a fifty dollar nigga. We gonna rock this bitch. And y'all turned. Man, we turned that bitch out. So that's why I got the DJ from. Me okay. and my homeboy ride them over. We were doing a DJ. And it is what it is. I got you. And then then from DJing, we we producing. We look look how we looking now. Big boy dashboard. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What what went from DJ to DJ Deadly produ the producer? Um, it still go back to jeans, jeans, and and all my homies. It come from all my homies. All my niggas do music, and then I just took it from being up under my homeboy Murder Mill. To get my own shit, investing in myself. Uh, Who you record? Oh no, not to cut you out. Who you recorded first? Shit, us, me, her, goddamn. Shit, that was a, we had just an LMB, LMB, the team, yeah, yeah, yeah. They started off with us, and we went on from now. You know what I'm saying? Global. And okay, how do you? This is a strong thing. I probably you 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 probably want to um, express to your your uh, clientele maybe, or people that want to work with you in the future. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about accreditation to engineering? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you engineers get the mo uh, the proper exposure? As far I don't as feel like good? it because the thing is about that. I had met a dude named Dot Com and um, went to engineering class one time, and he was like, he worked for a major art. I mean, a major artist. He worked for a major artist, and he was like, but when the checks and stuff start getting cut, he start seeing the major artists, goddamn buying their homeboys or Benz and Jags and Ferraris and shit. And he looking like, damn, bro, what about me? I'm the one making your shit sound good, making the world love this shit. You know what I'm saying? That one thing though too that I hate that. As us being engineers, we'll make a nigga song come from bullshit. We have a trash ass song. We make that shit sound good as a motherfucker. They take off with that bitch. We don't get no credit for that shit. You know what I'm saying? It just all oh, the baby now song cold. Damn, what about the nigga who made the shit cold? Yeah, that nigga rapping now. But she ain't made somebody behind it. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. I'm just happy that they start getting producers their credit. You know what I'm saying? Next is gonna be our time, you know what I'm saying? But we got we just being patient. And you see it all too. See, you you know it all. See, I'm talking. About I don't know it all. I'm still learning. Okay. All we got, I got all we got room for improvement, man. So that's why I be trying now, be trying to go to like different mixing and mastering classes and stuff like that. Most of the classes that I go to, a lot of guys already know me. You know what I'm saying? They know me, and I don't even be knowing them. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they don't want to give me that extra respect. Like, damn, boy, I be hearing you too. You know what I'm saying? It always it still be a little hate up in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. And do you different sounds of uh the artists that come through? Mm -hmm. Give give them some advice. You know what I'm saying on how to how to come keeping up with the the new sounds or. All right, keeping up with the new sounds you ain't gonna go that far. 
being different. Either. Yeah, you got to be you know different. Come with your own sound. You're going to be a couple guys if you even have your guys or you might be up in here with a, stu- a room full of guys. You're going to be a lot of guys be like, oh, no, that ain't it. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, that shit ain't right because you don't sound like a little baby to them. So everything that you do, they're going to be like, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Keep being, create your own shit. Cause yeah, well, it gonna be somebody out there that like your ass, and you gonna take off. You gonna create your own fans. Yeah, yeah, Look at Lil Yachty now. Yeah, nobody yeah. don't like him. But yeah, what that Yachty, nigga you know, created his example. own sound. You can't, you can't hate him. He was hated. Nah, he was he hated. Now nah, he popping. You see what I'm saying? If you an artist out here and you sound different, keep going the fuck up. Don't listen to nobody else because they rap about this and they doing this. They on trap beats. You don't want to be on trap beat. Get on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't sound the same. What you feel like it takes to blow? Get off your ass. Stop being lazy. And then one thing right there, like with my city. My city, I got I record some cold motherfuckers. Give me some names. Boom. I like I said, that's a lot of shit. There's a lot of names to go. Ah, what the hell is that? But y'all, I record a lot of motherfuckers, and it's at the point where they got the music. And then that's all they got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to. Ballot try to put that shit on the proper platform. You know what I'm saying? They put it on YouTube or put it on Facebook and feel like they did something. Oh man, I got a 200 share, but I did it. No, the fuck you did. You know what I'm saying? You, it's I more feel than like that, bro. yeah, it's more deeper. it's more to that. It's about getting up in that goddamn car. Get up in that car, man. Ride the like we the next spot to us with Montgomery. Go to Montgomery. Go to Prattville. Go to fucking um Birmingham. Birmingham. Go to fucking uh Huntsville. Huntsville. Go to Mobile. Mobile. You know what I'm saying? Go and network with these guys. Play your, your music in the club. Stop going to the club just to look good. Get your shit played, man. Connect you know with them saying? DJs. Connect with the DJ. Now, there was one thing I got to give a shout out to my, my nigga E. Heard, my brother E. Heard for that nigga go to the motherfucking club. I don't give a fucking three folks in that bitch. They going to play that motherfucker before we leave, though. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He going to buy the DJ a drink. He we gonna need shoot them a three. We need yeah, them three. Yeah, he going to buy him a drink. He gonna shoot him a couple dollars, and now nah, he ain't gotta be in the club. They gonna play his shit. These niggas get in the club, they wanna fight the DJ because the DJ ain't play that shit. Nigga, show some love. Yeah. You want the DJ to show you love, but you ain't showing no love. Come on, bro. That don't make no sense. You might stay your ass at home with that nigga shit. Gotta play the yeah. DJ. Show the love to the DJs, man. Show love to the DJ to get your music played. And don't take your ass in no club, all in that DJ ill drunk. Hollering all in that man ill, and you still ain't trying to spend no money. You feel what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if it's $20. Get that man some, man, and he gonna go on and play your shit. $20 in a drink. $20, oh man, that man gonna play your shit by five times. Then he gonna screen your name on the mic. You feel? Yeah, yeah. And a chicken plate, man. Well, get oh, a chicken, chicken plate. plate. Oh, man, you on the tomorrow plate list. Man, get a man a chicken Jeez. plate, man. Get his point for the year. Jeez. <laughs> for real. You feel me? What are your goals and where do you see yourself in the future? Future, how long do you mean by the future? Next two, three years. Where, can, where are we going to see daily next other than Selma? Oh, that's a good question. I say own a couple studios. Own a couple studios, I say I go probably. Give get me a location. Me. Uh, I say if I get a studio, I go somewhere like Birmingham, Alabama. Damn. Then I go somewhere like Atlanta. The A. Atlanta, Huntsville. The Ville. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? And have see like right now, I'm finna make it well. I'm finna be teaching engineering class, so I can get probably get a couple of them about the class. Hey man, let them run it. Except for waiting to you know somebody else in another city get on it. You know I ain't got time for all that. So a studio. And possibly in Birmingham, Huntsville, the A. But where do you really want it to be? I want. I feel like I, I can see my dog in the A. You feel me? Like really yeah. doing it? Yeah. Like for real. You, know, you can't. You can't. You know. Keep. You know. Can't. The A always gonna be the spot. Like the A gonna always be the spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that was this. This the thing though. That's why I brought this shit here down here to sell because our folks ain't used to this shit. I'm right. trying to make our folks get used to this type of shit. You shouldn't have to go to no 80 back goddamn be like, damn, boy, we in the 80, got the big dog studio, nigga, we got that same shit. Got the same I want to let you feel comfortable. So when you go somewhere, you're like, oh, man, we got that shit in the hometown. Correct. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I will have a, a couple studios in Atlanta. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell yeah, I want a couple of them everywhere. God damn it. Yeah. Daily yeah. Studio. Hell yeah. Yeah. Coming soon, coming soon to a city near you. City hey, near you. I'm, hey, on the way. For sure, for sure. Do you do you see yourself starting a label? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I see myself starting a label. Probably by the next. I'll put another year on it. Okay. Another soon. year on it. Very soon, bro. That's another sure. year on it. I'm just trying to pick, trying to see who fire, who going to be able to listen to a nigga. Because I don't want to put a thousand and thousand dollars behind you. Yeah, don't want to listen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to make sure that this person. I know heard your sign. I know I heard I know heard a sign too. He heard. Now I'm going to have to argue with that motherfucker every day. <laughs> Shit. Shout out to her, man. What? We're going to be doing one video 12 times. And shout out to my nigga Chris Molder too. Now. Shout out to Chris, man. Behind yeah. the scenes, getting dirty, bro. That's my dog, Chris. Hey, yeah. I see you drip, boy. I see what you got on, bro. That that, that rich underdog motherfucker. I see you got it on. Yeah, so, shout, out hey. to, shout out to them boys in the gun for this shit, bro. Okay. Shout out to uh, the, the Spot 27. The real way I got it from my okay. partner, man. The spot, man. Got a stamp doing, man. Them boys doing see them their boy, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Doing Go shot big things one. in the 27. Oh, yeah. Show for show. Oh, yeah. Got your chain, my dog. What's up, man? Yeah, day to day, boy. I see you, bro. It only going to get better, baby. This just, hey, just stamp one time. Man. It only get it only gonna get better. Long time. Man, bro. it took some, it took years for this shit. Everybody just looking at this shit and just feel like, oh man, that nigga got it overnight. Fucking lie, nigga. Took years, years to do this shit. You know what, what you I'm what you what you want out of it, bro? Like, what do you want out of this? Number one, I want at least one of my niggas on top. For sure. That's what I want. That's you know real. what I'm saying? I don't want what everybody else want. I want at least one of my niggas. To goddamn do it. I'm talking about tours. I'm talking about fucking the real mansions. Deal. The real deal. Yeah. Lambo, Ferraris. Met all Gala. That shit. Yeah. If one of my niggas can get though. Paris. My dream, show. my dream, everything from the talent show back in the day, everything. We got our reward, baby. Let's go. Lunch with Kanye. Shit, man. Look here. Kanye gonna be goddamn calling us. Producing. Yeah, Kanye ain't got a prayer record no more, nigga. I got you. you DJ Khaled back of the Maybach drop top. Yeah, that sound real good, though. That sound real good. That motherfucker, though. Lost in Shrimp. Oh, yeah, I, I, I eat that now. I eat that After now. After the studio. I eat, that, I eat that shit, though, now. So Future now going to come pull up on me and eat that. I'm going to have my shelf cooking up for their ass. You feel? Pop a big boy shit. No, oh, don't give me anything. Don't give me anything. Hey, give them some. Hey, what going on? Dilly? Hey, let these folks know why they want to work with you. Play them some. Y'all listen to the background vocals on the motherfucker. Check out everything. This shit ain't no regular shit, bro. I had to leave him 
money to pay, yeah. I had to leave my love, I had to go, get in my bag. I made a plan, I made a decision to be something bigger than they had in Vic. Grandma told me the best way to learn a list. You can't tell the heat, they didn't fuck out the kitchen. Start watching love when they start getting this. These niggas are stank, you better pay attention. Don't wait too late for the start of list. My trust in the cake, not in the bitch. Alrighty, what sets DJ Deadly up differently from the the other engineers out here? What 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 sets you your 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 craft from the other ones? You know what I'm saying from the other engineers? Why that's, Deadly? That's a good question. All right, these other engineers, you know I fuck with y'all, but I gotta go on and be real. But this shit, I gotta be real about it. That's it. This, All this, right, this, this, this the other line. engineers just about their dollar. They just about their dollar. So it's basically, you know, they'll record that. You sound pretty good and everything, but they don't dig on up in, into it. You know what I'm saying? I do the extra shit that them other engineers ain't going to want to do because they looking like, oh, bro, I got to go get my baby some milk, bro. I ain't, can't stay here all the, you know. They they on that lazy shit, and I real deal dig into my shit. Whoever I work with, I try to hear shit before they even hear it. When they say a certain word, I hear something that they don't hear. So I go and put it in there. I ain't even going to ask them. I do it. If they don't like it, hey, baby, we'll undo that motherfucker. But I'm going to try it. I want to give you something totally different from the other nigga. Because they just want their check. You know what I'm saying? I want my shit to sound good. So when my shit finally do catch the wave, oh, they ass in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Now my sound going to be... I got I already got engineers trying to mimic like certain different little shit I do in my song. Yeah. I hear it. Okay. But I'll be like, okay, I touch that motherfucker. That's, I want to touch it, baby. Right, that, that, that. Shit, yeah, I want to touch we it. We're going to turn that into a positivity energy. Yeah, feel, I want to touch it. It feel good to, to yeah. be I know copied. You know I know saying? you heard me. Yeah. So I accomplished something. From who I know, you feel what I'm saying? That's how I met you. And I consider you a GOAT, bro. Do you see yourself on the same level as the other engineers, the top dog that's recording, the Futures, the Drakes, the... Shit, the Beyonce's and the the Nicky's and yeah. the Cardi's. You hear what I'm yeah. saying? You you see yourself up there with them. You feel Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. And why not you? You feel me? I'm gonna tell you about that. Why not me? Is because I'm just like an artist. Let's say I'm just like an artist. If I want to get in that position, I know too. I got to get my ass up and get in their face too. You mm. see what I'm saying? But I have my shit so comfortable and ran so cold and so good that they're gonna hit. Them bitches gonna hit, and then they gonna be, I don't give a fuck, they in London, they gonna be flying me out that motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, I think I'm, I deserve to be up there, and I am up there with them right now. My skills is up there with the motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh yeah, hell so, yeah. Everything goes off great energy. What gives you that, that spunk, that spark, that makes you go the extra mile into this, instead of just for the money real quick? You feel what I'm saying? Oh, I got my... You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I got my money. Yeah. Uh, and, and, all right, bro, I'll holler at you. What, what gives you that? Let me get this bitch because I want that bitch to sound like that. What? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm What's tell you what, what got me hungry like that because I know other motherfuckers holding their nuts on me. Correct. You know what I'm saying? I know they holding their nuts on me. They see they see the little shit that I done got because I done grind hard for it. I know they holding their nuts on me, so I got to keep going hard. Like, bitch, you got to keep singing me. You got, you got to keep hearing me. A little bit. You, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm getting more artists that coming from other studios. They coming to fuck with me because I'm working on grind. They hear better shit over here than over there. You know what I'm saying? So if your grind ain't like this, hey, baby, it is what it is. Get your shit up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. If you go on YouTube and you get your beat, find out who that producer is. If you can write them, try to get that beat, try to lease that beat. Try to get, make sure you give your producer their credit, too. The reduct goes a long way. Get a producer they credit, and then when you go get these beats, please make sure they got some kind of mix on them. Cause y'all be getting these beats that don't ain't even mixed right. Too much bass in them, clap too low. Like you gotta be able to, to help the engineer out too. You know what I'm saying? They were gonna give us that be able to make us put your mix all the way right. If you come up in here and your bass crowd and everything, crowding your tick and your clout. We gotta make that become something, you know what I'm saying? So when you hear it the way you want to hear it, listen to what you brought us. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna give you the best on our end, but make sure your beat mix right. Or if you ain't got the beat mix right, go on the website, find out who made the beat, click on their link, try to see could you get that beat tracked out or or something. If you buy it, I believe the, the mix will be ten times better. You know what I'm saying? But stop getting the YouTube beats. 
And then you come up in here talking about goddamn, you got them bold bricks. You got goddamn uh, mansion and all this shit. And you got the person that track today on your shit. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't P. They, they how y'all say it. They ain't pushing P. You know what I'm saying? Pay these folks. Bring that shit on to us. And the engineer, we're going to give you the best quality that we can. You know what I'm saying? So how can, how can an artist get to Delhi? Uh, got Facebook. Got Instagram, DJ Deadly, WGM. WGM means we getting money. So everybody ask me what WGM means. We getting money, you know what I'm saying? DJ Deadly, WGM. On all platforms. Just hit me up, man. If I don't see it, when I, whenever I see it, I'm going to hit you back. You know what I'm saying?